And this is one of the things about Armenia. People think of Armenia as a developing country. It's not, it's a redeveloping country. Under the Soviet Union, a lot of the factories and employment were created through central planning. A lot of towns at that time were artificially created around a factory. The Soviets simply drew, they, they drew a map and they said, we want to have villages here. Karakit itself was almost in a desert. You've got to ship in water, you've got to ship in electricity, you have to ship in supplies, none of that comes locally. I had no reason to be there in the first place. In, in a normal society, you would never build a place there. And unfortunately, when the Soviet Union collapsed, these factories stopped operating almost overnight. And suddenly there was nothing. It was a situation of complete collapse, total collapse. There are over 900 villages that are devastated. Those people didn't know how to farm. What were these people going to do? Armenians are very proud, but of course it's a difficult one to swallow to all of a sudden lose everything. To be standing with the, heart, the arm outstretched to ask for help, to get food aid. It becomes a human tragedy. As we got closer, we saw this building. It was, it was quite beautiful in comparison to everything. It was, it was like a bloom in the desert. We have sort of pushed the train into motion and the train is moving on. It started with one village and now it's moving into clusters. Hope is coming back to the people. So this is about repairing the human fabric of the nation. They took an idea and they had the balls to run with it. And it's a success.